Everywhere we look, we see great examples of finished design work. Websites, product packaging, app UI. And all of these things began as concepts, many of them napkin sketches. And so when we saw the iPad, we thought this would make a great digital napkin. But instead of drawings, we would have separate objects. And instead of scribbling, we'd have rich typography. And it would all be deeply integrated with the desktop, with the tools that we use today. And that's exactly what we've built with Adobe Comp. Let me show you how it works. Let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Comp, and we can see that we have some preset content that shows us what can be done. But let's start with building something from scratch. We have all sorts of presets. I'm gonna go with the landscape one for the iPad Pro. And what I wanna do is create a cover slide for my portfolio. Now, we could drop in all sorts of shapes, uh, text, and photos, but we can also drive everything by gestures. And so to do that, Let's just start with a sidebar, and in that shape, we're gonna drop some text, and it'll drop Lormep some text in there. I can scale that, choose whatever size I want, move that around, and then I'm gonna want a title over here. And same, I can change the size of that, the proportions of that. Underneath that, I wanna go ahead and drop an image in. And that's my placeholder for the image. And let's go ahead and just drop that in there. We'll use this colorful image of the car, change that a little bit, and move that around. That looks good. Now underneath that, I wanna have a number of different images. And rather than drop those all in individually, let's just create some placeholders for those. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. And once more, what I'll do is select all of them and distribute them evenly. That looks good. Now I'll make them a group, duplicate that group, and duplicate it once more. I'll select all of those and align and distribute them. Now with all of those grouped together, I can move them around move any of my content around, and maybe I wanna go ahead and shrink these down now. You see I get nice alignment cues. It's looking better. Okay, so we're almost there. There's just a couple of last things I wanna change. One, this is my portfolio, so I at least wanna change that part to reference portfolio. That looks good, but what I wanna do now is change the font of that and I'm used to being pretty limited in my fonts. You can see that I've actually got quite a few I've already pulled down here, uh, but I have access to thousands of those via the Typekit integration. Uh, what's really great about these is I can choose any which one I want, and if I send that over to the desktop, it'll sync up and pull that font down to the desktop as well. Now, I have one that I like here locally that I pulled down before. Go ahead and choose that. That looks great. I'm gonna move that around. You see that I get alignment for that. And it's looking great. I just wanna change one more thing. I wanna drop an image in the background just to give it a little bit more detail. And I'll use the same gesture as I did before, which is just a big box with an X in it. And let's drop in a black and white image. And you'll notice that we can reorder our layers here. So I'm just progressively sending it behind the other pieces that I've created. And the last thing I'll do is adjust the opacity of it so it's not quite as distracting. Okay, so that gives me a great place to start. And from there, of course, I could send it over to InDesign, to Photoshop, to Illustrator. Uh, when it comes to sending another image over, let's actually look at one of these ones that someone else has spent a lot of time on. This print file here is a really great example. So obviously we have a photo but if we look a little more closely, we have different fonts, we have different colors, we have all different objects, and this is all editable. This can all be changed, this can all be moved, and of course, really fantastic integration with the desktop apps. So as you can see, Comp is deeply integrated with Adobe's desktop design tools, but it's also a great standalone app. Obviously works really well on the iPad Pro with Apple Pencil, but it also works on smaller versions of the iPad and even the iPhone. So whatever device you're using, I think you'll really enjoy using Adobe Comp.